Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. In the previous episode, we made our way through the Elven Alienage, rescuing them from Tevinter slavers and gaining evidence that, well, that shouldn't be surprising, Loghain is working with slavers, which is highly illegal around here. And in this episode, we're going to be making our way out to the Land's Meet itself. We have gathered up all the allies that we can, or at least we should have. Indeed. Yes. Oh, and uh, Alistair is locked into your party no matter what. So if you haven't been building him up as your tank, well, yeah. Now that we're here. Now, there are side quests in here. If there is any final things you want to do within Denerim, or the world at large, this is your very, very last chance to do it. But without further ado, let us head for the Royal Palace. This is, in fact, the point of no return. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. Do you really not see what Loghain has become? Now, if you took care of her at the Arl of Denerim's estate, then she obviously won't be here. I'm going to try and persuade her. Now, there was a glitch prior to 1.04 where the persu Persuade actually checks against poison making, so be careful. Do you really not see what Loghain has become? I have had so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man. But his hatred of Orle has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. Then let me stop him. You know it's the only way. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. That's not up to us. It's up to him. Okay, then. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings? Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? How much Ferelden blood does Orlesian gold buy these days? The blight is the threat here, not only. Now, there are, uh... There are debates that you need to go through. There are ways to gain support. In order to win this, you need five points. So even if you can win the uh, votes of everyone here, which you can't win everyone's vote, you will lose if you lose the argument. Now, Anora's support gets you three points automatically. A Grand Cleric's Denunciation, I will get into how to get that. 
gets you two points. Each named noble who supports you via successful quest or argument gets you one point, but everyone who supports low gain gets negative one point. A persuasive argument gets you one point, a failed argument gets you negative one point. Nora doesn't vote, but she speaks at the end of the debate against Loghain if you talk to, to her about the lands meet about your uh, assignment. Gland, uh, the Gland, Grand Cleric Elmina doesn't vote, but denounces Loghain if Lost Templar is completed and the charge of using an apostate against e uh, to poisoning Emin is brought up in the third round of the debate. This is the first one. Vaughn Kendall's, whom we killed... Well, he won't be supporting his vote. Arl Bryland will support the Wardens by default, but he is countered by Ban Cleoric, who will always support Loghain. Ban Alstana will support the Wardens if we complete the quest of the Lost Templar, or if the successful persuasion of either the Blight is the threat here, not Orle, or supporting Alistair's claim in the third round of debate. Ban Seagard of Dragon's Peak votes on the basis of completing the tortured noble by releasing Seagard's son from house prison and talking to him and bringing up the slavery charges. Our wolf will only support you if the argument of saying the blight is the real threat either in the first or the third round of the debate regardless of whether the persuasion is successful. And you also get a bonus one for the trial of, if for completing trial of the crows. So the Blight is the real threat here, not Orle. There are enough refugees in my Banor now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orle? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? Okay. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You sold Ferelden citizens into slavery to fund your war. What's this? There is no slavery in Ferelden. Explain yourself. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the Blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the Elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. And let's see, the third one. <laughs> Was sending an apostate to poison Eamon your duty as well? I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. What have I done? I protected her from you. You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. Listen to Honora. Loghain is power mad. So, 
The Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Anora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. The land's meat is against you, Loghain. Step down gracefully. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Call off your men, and we'll settle this honorably. Yeah, no matter what, whether you win or lose, there's going to be a duel. Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? Okay. There are a lot of things you can do. You can either do it yourself, or you can send one of your companions in to do it. Now, Alistair is obvious. There are two companions that you cannot send. Shale, I think the odds might be slightly in his favor as a test of strength, but it is your right to choose. Prepare a champion. Oh, wait, you actually can. It's just some special dialogue from Loghain. You can also send in your Mabari, but Eamon will say no. Ooh. You can also refuse, but you, well, you can't in this case, but you can select Alistair as your champion. If you do, well, let's just say you won't have a choice in what happens afterwards. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. He does fight with sword and shield. Oh, boy. Hmm. I want to send Alistair in. You know what? Alistair is my champion. If it goes wrong, I'll reload and yada yada blah blah blah. Then let us test the mettle of our would-be king. Prepare yourself. Now, he can't be knocked down, so be careful. <laughs> oh boy, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. Shield cover, shield bash, shield cover while in this mode, warrior shield prays a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks, shield mastery, nope. Let's see, shield defense. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Very well. You will fall! Just get ready! Ugh. 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 
don't have shield expertise, which means I am going to get knocked down by him. Yes. Ugh. Okay, let's go for precise striking. As you wish. Okay, good. He's stunned. I really did not build up Alisteric for assault. Well done. As you wish. Yes. Lord, man, quit missing. You have precise striking active. Okay, yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna reload. I will see you guys when we get back to the proper point, and I will duel him myself. Okay, we're back. I'll fight him myself. I've changed up some of my skills for a bet for a better one-on-one -on -one fight. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Let's do this. Okay then, let's get some concentrated death root essence going. Get a mark of death on Loghain. And I'm awesome. Get a dirty fighting. See, get a cripple going. And once we have enough stamina again, we'll hit him with a... Oh, damn. Thank you, Paralysis Wounds. I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Now then, if Alistair duelled Loghain, and won, then he will execute him immediately, and Honora will withdraw any support previously promised. And you can't convince him to, you know, do that. Or, to mad. To, to get married to him. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live? After everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait, there is another option. The Tern is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. Would that even work? He's not exactly loyal to us. What does loyalty matter? We are what we are. The joining binds us to the Darkspawn. You know this. If you were to forswear your oath and flee today, you'd find yourself in the deep roads or the Blight Lands given time. You'd seek them out, or they'd seek you. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Now, if you go through with this, Alistair will leave your party permanently. Yeah. No. It, it's not happening. This is the secret character that you can get. But he's not worth it. No. Loghain has to die for his crimes. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora. Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. 
Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. Now, you can kill him yourself, or pass responsibility on to Alistair. Anora's not going to marry the man who uh, kills Loghain. So if you really want the marriage to go through, which I don't, then you got to kill him yourself. Alistair, you should be the one to do this. I will. I owe that to Duncan. Probably should have stood back from the splash zone. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? So much for our plan to rule together. If Alistair would rather not have the throne, I am more than willing to take it. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? Okay. I don't get what's going on with Alistair. We hardened him. He should be more okay with the idea of taking the throne. So I have no idea what's going on with him. I need to speak with Alistair first. I hope your route is clear here. Well, what do you think I should do? Make me king. Anora isn't an option. Okay. Do you think you're ready to be king? As ready as anyone ever is, I suppose. Which is to say, yes, I'm ready. Okay. What makes you a better choice than Nora? I can do this. I may not know politics the way she does, but I know what needs to be done. I can get our armies marching toward the Blight. She only cares about having power. That and she's uh, infertile. Are you willing to give up your freedom? <sighs> If that's the price of ending the Blight, it's my duty as a Grey Warden. Yeah. For those of you who missed the Return to Ostagar uh, videos I did, basically there's the huge implication that Anora is infertile. Hmm. I'm ready to choose. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelden? Alistair. And I accept that decision. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Nora, well, I can't really ask her to be reasonable, seeing as how I just ordered her uh, father's execution. Is that necessary, Eamon? We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. Put her in the tower for now. If I fall against the Blight, then she can have her throne. If not, then we'll see. You would give me a chance for the throne after all this? I said if I fall, Honora, if I fall, the throne falls to you. I won't kill you while there's a chance that could happen. Somebody has to treat this blight seriously. That is uncharacteristically wise of you. Yes, well, don't let it get around. I have a reputation. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Shut up and put the on the damn crown. Maker's breath. When the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, 
I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? We will beat this blight, as Calum dreamed. Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. Yeah, it is. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. And here I thought you'd be speechless. I think I would have been furious at you once. But since our talk after seeing my sister, well, I suppose this might not be such a bad thing. This was always a possibility. I always feared it, but maybe there's nothing to fear. I might actually make a good king. You never know. I tell you what, though. I'll make a far better king if I have the right people by my side to help me once I'm on the throne. People like you. <laughs> You won't need my help, Alistair. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure I could do well enough if I tried, but I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for you. So in a way, you owe me. What do you say? I think I could be convinced. And what about the Grey Wardens? Well, that option isn't really open to me anymore, is it? I'm going to be king whether I like it or not. Grey Warden or no. And if I can be an exception, then so can you. As a matter of fact, I insist. I'll have to think about it. That's good enough for me. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Okay then, we are getting close to the end. Now, Alistair did get some disapproval from this, but it is what it is. Wasn't expecting to get a level up. Level 19. Now, let me just open up the guide for this. Uh, just gonna keep boosting my cunning. Oh wait, I can't. Level 19, what am I supposed to pick up there? Level 19, Cripple. Wait, I already got that. Huh. Guess I'm picking a Punisher? That is weird. There's gotta be something I missed. Or maybe it was just a skill point that I got. Oh well. Uh, let's see. What else do we gotta do? I guess... After this, we gotta head for... Red Cleft. Battle of Denerim. Let's see, this is the point of no return for all standard locations on the game map beyond Red Cliff, which was locked during the lands meet. Any unfinished trading or quest should be completed before going to Red Cliff and talking to Arl Eamon, in particular the camp, will no longer be accessible. Oh boy. Completing companion conversation chains, doing to allied supply crates, trading with Bowden Fedic, getting enchantments, let's see, da da da. Leveling up any party members who haven't been used very often, making sure abilities and stats are increased accordingly. Okay. Well, that sounds like something I should take care of off camera, but. I guess once we head to Redcliffe, that's it. Yeah, because it, it flashed and changed here. But we are pretty much out of time for this episode, so I'm probably going to take care of, you know, taking care of my companions off camera. And from there, well, I don't know. Head back to Redcliffe, I guess. I don't really have anything else I want to do. Ugh, excuse me. Nope, never mind. it. Uh Uh, don't you just hate it when the desire to sneeze keeps disappearing? But anyways, yeah, I'll take care of some of that stuff off camera. 
Uh, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.